Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Chris, this is Web Bonnets Gaming, and today we're going to, in this video we're going to be going over Fancy Star Online 2, kind of getting into making a new character, seeing what the gameplay is like, um, and yeah, this is the, uh, the Japanese version of the game. Oh, let me just turn this down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, so we're currently waiting on the Western release of uh, PSO2 for Xbox, PC, and it's later coming out for PlayStation 4, um, and possibly other platforms. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a fairly old game. It got and, like it got released in 2012, and it's just only just coming coming over um, to America and Europe, um, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I absolutely loved Fancy Star Online uh, when that came out on Dreamcast. I spent loads of hours, and this is just uh, it's the second one to that. There have been other games which haven't been as good, uh, <clears throat> universe. But yeah, let's uh, let's give this game a look because uh, it's going to be pretty similar to what gets released, um, possibly in the next few months. So let's uh, let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to start this. We're going to go to the. I believe this is the like English uh, server. Now the question is if I can actually remember my password. Show where to have a look. Did it work? Did it not? <laughs> it worked and we're in. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, so I actually like made an account when it first came out. Um, that was when people were like manually um, translating the game. And then posting patch updates. Um, but yeah, the experience wasn't too great because you know, most of the stuff, like all of the story, like most of the most of our items and shops and stuff were weren't translated, so it was kind of hard to uh, get immersed in the game. Um, so there's gonna be so much better this time around. Uh, so let's go to character select or creation. Uh, so I already do have a character here, which I guess I made on the first time round, so level 18 Hunter. 34 hours playtime. Uh, but it's no good, so let's just create a new character. Oracle. That's the yeah. Okay, so they actually translated some of the some of the intro there. Um Okay, so now we've got all these options that we can choose for our character creation. Um uh, let's go back and see. Okay, all right. So these, they've kind of like split this up into options. So there's the kind of the race, and male or female version, uh, and it kind of like I don't know what it kind of does, but um, is it sh showing us human male? <clears throat> okay, so we've got humans. Uh, balance abilities allow high adaptability in any environment. Capable in the use of striking weapons, firearms, and techniques, allowing him to to ad adapt to any class. And there's a the difference between whether you choose a male or a female. Uh, let me just change something real quickly. Um. Okay, that's better. Let me just... Hopefully if I go back on it's not gonna... Okay, right. Uh, so the female version... 
that is physically tough and capable of utilizing photons in rich is rich in versatility and can fit any class. Okay. Uh, and then we've got these other ones. These are Newmans. It's male, female again. Um, and this is heavily adapted towards the handling of photons. Physically frail, but unmatched by any other race at the Force class. So these are kind of like your magic users. Um, female version, heavily adapted towards the handling of photons. Dainty and frail, but shows great ability at the Force class. Yeah, same again. Pretty much just worded differently. And they've got the casts. These are usually my like, preferred type. Um, <clears throat> Cause these guys, um, I know like before they couldn't use like magic, but they were unaffected by traps. Um, so the male version is machine made, machine tough. Due to, due to artificial nature has a very weak photon sensitivity. Uh, but can achieve unparalleled heights and physical strength. Uh, shows great potential in both close range and firearm based combat, but is poor in utilizing photons. And then we've got Dooman. Dooman is kind of like. I think this is a new one. I'm pretty sure it was. There's only like three that you could choose between uh, in the initial uh, PSO. Uh, but now we have Dooman's, which kind of. Demons, maybe? Um, a human-based race created from photon research. Okay. Characterized by a horn on their forehead and a speci specialization of photon attacks. Inferior defense-wise, they make up for that shortcoming with excessive attack power. And the female version. Human-based race created from... Same again. Characterized by a pair of horns on their forehead. They specialize in photon oriented attacks. Their defense is lacking, but they make incredible superior attackers. Ah, so these are the... The ones. Let's go... I think we might go for a Dooman. Let's go for one of these bad boys. And then we've got our... Um, our classes. Actually, before I click that, I just want to check make sure they're all the same. They, they seem to be the, the same. Um, <clears throat> so we've got Hunter, broken for the, recommended for those who enjoy melee combat. A uh, class whose value lies in close range combat, has high HP and defense, and is excellent at fighting single targets. Ranger, for those that prefer long range combat, a class that focuses on dealing damage at medium range, demands high shooting accuracy, but rewards it with high at power. Uh, force, for those who want to fight with magic, a long range class that specializes in photon techniques, the techniques it can use are both powerful and versatile, and they can be further boosted by using technique weapons, uh, taking weapons. Braver. For those who want to fight at multiple <laughs> ranges. Okay, interesting. Uh, a multiple range class whose weapons emphasize timing and spacing, while difficult to master, improving your skills will bring high precision and strength. Uh, bouncer for players who want to fight in the air. <laughs> okay, this class can fight at close range and also use techniques. Its close combat abilities are sufficient when alone, but its, <clears throat> but its ability to provide support is invaluable in multiplayer. Hmm, interesting, and summoner. Uh, for Beginners to action at games, a class that summons pets and fights by giving them orders from medium range. By raising a variety of pets and choosing which to use carefully, they can adapt to any situation. <clears throat> okay, so there, there are like classes. Um, kind of, I like the idea of going with Braver. We might go for this guy. Let's do it. And these are all kind of presets. We choose a base champion, uh, a base look of our character. And then I assume we just build on that. So we're just gonna go for four. Let's go for four. Uh, character creation allows you to edit your characters in great detail. 
Okay, so we can go into this, which is just going to give us... Let's have a quick look, see what see what we're dealing with here. Um, about character creation, close that. Uh, so it's just going to give us a whole load of editing options. Uh, base face types, we can change everything in here. Uh, face variants. Got a whole load of things to work with. Okay, makeup patterns. So we're gonna add some stuff. And there's number two, so you can combine them as well. Um, I'm just gonna stick with that. And you can roll for a random, random selection. Hairstyles. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, it's like the female ones. Uh, let's stick with that. I think that was the original one. And then we've got hair colour, so we can change to whatever kind of colour we wanted to go for. Um... Oh, we've got motion test. And here we've got the <clears throat> face face options to so change the face shape, the eyes, the nose, everything like that. So there's kind of a lot of uh, stuff to go in there. Looks like really thin. Doesn't look like a very good. Um. <clears throat> so no like. Okay. <clears throat> and then we've got all the body stuff. So body paint. <clears throat> There's a lot of options for this on how you can customize your champions. I keep saying champions. How you can customize your characters. Um, and of course you can do it by you know, just doing it manually instead of going for a preset. Just go with that. Motion test, detail body editing as well, body shape, arms, legs, like all that good stuff. Tall, small. Oh god. Um Okay. Um stick with that. Edit fashion. Oh man, accessories. Looks like there's loads of things that we can add. Um <clears throat> uh, we've got hats, we've got glasses. Why is this all like female stuff? Is it only the females that wear glasses? Emblem. Um, sure. Stick on suit for this. Uh, voice selection. I'm not sure what that is. Um, it's creation day, yeah. Um, so we can save like a pr our own presets in this. I'll load them as well. I haven't really done too much in like customizing, so I'm not going to save anything. Um, and there's another randomize button, so you can keep randomizing until you to get something that that you like. Uh, to save a lot of time in customer creation. Um, okay, so let's carry on to next name. Uh, 
Must confirm. Okay, so let's do the first story quest. So this is going to kind of give us a, a basic idea. Um, <clears throat> so if you if you complete the first story quest at least once, you can skip the introduction and start the game. If you select yes, you will skip the introduction. Skip the introduction and start episode four. Let's go with no. Let's just go through kind of tutorial section. Oh, no. オルアフィンって言うんだ。よろしくな、相棒。何キョロキョロしてるんだよ。相棒。ああ、はい。たまたまとはいえ、同じ組になったんだ。あ、looks <laughs> Okay, we're ready to go. Looks like an easy area for newbies like us. Let's get going. <laughs> for some reason, I feel really nervous about jumping into the teleport. Let's go. Uh, so I'm wondering as well, like, I'm not sure um, if, if this version has it, but I want to test out if it's got a controller support on there as well. Sign stuff indeed. ちょっと、恐れすぎてもダメだよな。うん。なあ、そうそう。俺たち戦闘は初めてだし、基本的な動きとかは。じゃあ、let's uh, <laughs> Maybe we should have read it first before I went. Uh, next we'll go over how to move, move to a spe specified location. Uh, let's move forward, W, back, S, left, A, R, D. It's normal movement controls. Looks like if you uh, double tap as well, it's going to give you double tap for a dodge. And then hold in to run. ヒロの問題ないな。次はジャンプ方法の確認を行う。目の前にブロックが見えるな。飛び越えてみろ。よろしい。では次に攻撃方法の確認を行う。仮想標的を転送する。装備している武器で攻撃しろ。Okay, so normal attack is just the left, left button. Let's go over how to use photon arts. Okay, uh, let's use Photon Arts, it's the, it's the right button. Switch to rear palette with shift. Uh, hold button to change the Photon Art release to use. Okay, so if you wanna... Okay, so we kind of get like a three attack in that.
Okay, so that means we've got another one here, all right. Okay, to perform a just attack, use a normal attack or throw an art, then attack when you see a red circle. <laughs> okay, so is that for like criticals or? I completely missed that. Um, okay, that's better. Okay, so we press Q to log on. Um, so let's check, like, so we've gone through a few other things, we can lock on with Q, move WASD, um, E does something, what does E do? I can't remember. Uh, mouse button to look, um, left button to attack, right button to use, uh, specials, our photons. So I'm just going to plug in the, the controller and see if it has support for that. Um, first of all, I need to active, activate my, uh... My controller. Um... Okay, so it's... Oh, God. Okay, so that's 
Active. Okay, now we'll spin in. Crap. <laughs> no. Okay. So we're having a few troubles uh, with this. It shows the controller there. Um, let's have a look at Let's just try this one. You know, I'm gonna try my other controller. I do have. Another one here, and it would be kind of nice to see if it does work. So let's uh, let's go and see if we can get this working. Paired voice, allow. Okay, so we do have one connected currently. Unfortunately, it's not working for us. Just yet, which kind of like, that's not too good. Um, I've got up here, just wondering. <laughs> Ah, oh, no, all right, okay. I don't know why it's done, but, um. <laughs> Form input methods. So we had gamepads. See if we can, uh. Uh, so it's probably going to be easier with the actual release of this game. But currently we're having a few issues with setting, uh, just for my setup really. Uh, mainly because I have uh, a controller. I've got one that's wired and one that's wireless. Um, let's see if we... If we
Ah, the only problem is um, the the connection isn't too great. So let's kind of let's take this one out. Remove this device. This is just a Bluetooth one, so we can take this out. Um. Yeah, let's close this one down. Um. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna leave that for now. I can't really see that working just yet. Just take that off completely. Uh, so we did have some response to it, so, we, so I'm assuming you can use a controller for this game. Just hopefully you've got better cables than I do, because mine are absolutely shocking and don't seem to be working properly. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave that. Let's just switch back to... Oh, what are we doing here? Um, switch back to these options. Controller settings. Primary input method. Keyboard and mouse. Uh, no one knows what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, okay. Uh, let's just... Okay, so it looks like we've changed everything now. <laughs> okay, so we will need to try and uh, move it, change it back. Controller settings. Jeez. Oh, so you can change those. Level keyboard. Um. And then also we want to go right to the con uh, controls. So primary input method, keyboard and mouse. Um, let's just go right to two buttons. That's gonna be default. Let's see if this has worked. Okay, so we're back with keyboard and mouse. Since we want normal attack does like loads of damage. Okay, let's also go have how to recover your HP. Select Sapala Icon G. Uh, H, activate Sapala Icon. What? Okay. Let's just... Okay, so G, uh, let's just scroll across. H, let's just scroll back. Okay, so G and H. We can scroll across the palette. Um, and B. Let's just use, use it. Okay, and it's E to pick up. Oh, big guy.
Can we go uh... Right, I might as well aim for the head. Completed. Uh, 30 XP, 30 Masao? The photon drop. Um, okay. <clears throat> Probably should have been reading that, but. Um. I think having this, this. It's kind of like the easy option. Uh, let's get some uh, monomate. And go through. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. I kind of like, I was hoping we could have got the controller support in there. Um, it would have made things run a, a bit smoother. But I think that's just down to my end, just having a, a like a dodgy cable wire which wouldn't connect properly. しいぐらいドンピシャ。なんかあった時のために控えておいて正解だったぜ。おい、相棒。分かったよ。分かりました。オッケー、そう。いいタイムだろ。お前、ウイジンにしか。さあ、ジスケラ。え、そうですけど。え、そうですけど。え、そうですけど。え、そうですけど。え、そうですけど。え、
I think that's another thing we could do with this. Um, yeah, let's change it back to two buttons. Save an exit. Uh, so that's what you're doing with the two button and three button is you're changing the kind of setup for uh, this bottom area. From your uh, left left and right mouse buttons and just adding a middle button to your attack. Uh, how do your weapons feel? Try out new different ones and see what you like. Weapon palette, select R key, F key. Okay. Oh, alright. Okay, now we're talking. Um, what does that do? Okay, so this one shift is guard. But there was, we've also got, um, <clears throat> so I'm assuming these at the bottom are like combos. Do you get combos out of these as well, maybe? But we're gonna go for this, so if he's, okay. I do like the the katana. Is there anything round here? Nope. Where do we go? Over here? Oh, around there. I have no idea about that. <laughs> And the like combat flow is so much more smoother than the original as well. There's no like really big pauses, but there is still a pause. Like if you time it and hold off on your next attack, you kind of you get more damage. So there is still an aspect of that in this game. Emergency. Okay, so this one we've just got to survive. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. All right, let's get out of there. And be get a little bit. Yeah, and that didn't seem like too hard. It was kind of just waiting until the time runs out, which was nice. Uh, but yeah, like using melee combat, it seems so much easier, so much smoother. Uh, playing with mouse and keyboard because you don't have to target. Okay, so I kind of won't spoil all that stuff for you guys. You can kind of check it out once you get onto the game. Uh, when you defeat a boss enemy, a red boss container appears. You can destroy it with any attack and it drops both Masetta and items. Could you get a red drop? When you get close to an item, its name will appear in the top left corner of the screen and pick up with you. Uh, let's just see what we get. Cash. And we get a new bow. Uh, so this is an Alva bow NT. Pick that up. Uh, so let's just go into these as well. Because can we. Okay, it's not letting us equip anything yet. Okay, and we get rankings as well, so that's gonna be um a lot of fun later on trying to get uh, trying to get high ranking tiers. Um levels move that's a competitive aspect about this game as well who knows okay uh, so yeah that's gonna that's about gonna do it for this video this is just kind of like a quick introduction to fancy star online 2 just to show you guys uh, kind of what this game is about what kind of features some of the features that it's got in this uh, got in the game from this video so we can so we had a quick look at the like uh, character creation screens um, and a little bit of the combat, switching weapons, testing out controller support, which I believe does work, just, um, you know, like I said before, like I've got a dodgy cable, so it kind of like cuts out. Um, hopefully when the, um, you know, when it gets shipped over, um, when we can have access to it on the UK, uh, Europe and America, it's going to, supports are already going to be there for just plug and play uh, to use your controller with it um which is which is nice um some people do prefer playing with controller but just using the uh, the melee weapons and this with the mouse and keyboard it seems to work pretty smoothly and i could kind of just see myself going around with keyboard and mouse not needing the control pad um it's kind of nice. I still do want to try it out with the controller at some point. Um, but yeah, it works just as well with uh, uh, keyboard and mouse. Um, with the ranged weapons, we've only used the bow so far, but it kind of feels like you do need to lock on with the, with the target, with the Q button before firing your weapon. Um, and it's going to be a timing thing, so you're going to want to time your attacks to get more damage out of it. Um... You know, I, I don't know how it's going to be with controller. It's probably going to be... It might be a bit easier using ranged weapons with controller for just like a, a lock on and then move switch between targets and then there's probably a, 
There might be an option to auto lock on as well to make things uh, a bit easier. Um, but yeah, so far, very smooth, fast paced uh, combat. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice. It plays, it's really smooth. And, and this is a really old game, so graphics aren't going to be like uh, major, but you can just tell just with the art style as we go into the like first kind of area it kind of uh, it kind of sits well um you know it doesn't need high end gra well it does kind of have like some some nice like visuals and textures in there but you know it is an old game so you can get some nice frame rates out of this game as well which helps when you're um you know with the combat um, for dodging and you know for using all your chain attacks and everything um but yeah that's kind of it i don't want to go too much into the different options and stuff there's going to be loads of like chat features um and, and loads of like party commands and stuff just to communicate with everyone else there's gonna be loads of that stuff uh, i'm not gonna be able to cover that in this video until i can kind of know what i'm doing a little bit more um yeah, and there's going to be loads of quests to get into as well. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. I'm probably just going to play this a little bit more. Uh, just on my other character. See if I can get back into that. Uh, but there's going to be loads of weapons uh, for this as well. Um, and loads of different versions of weapons. Which are going to carry different attacks to them. Um, so yeah. Um, it all looks good so far. Hope you guys like this video. If you enjoyed any of this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. This is kind of like one of those like off the cuff kind of let's just record this and get a get an intro out there to you guys. Um just so you can can get a quick look at it and see what it's like. Um I will be streaming this game when it comes out. Hopefully you guys will uh join me. Um yeah, we can get a team together and do some missions. Um but anyway. That's it for this. If you've got any comments, just uh, yeah, leave something uh, down below. Good or bad, any criticisms, criticism is always welcome. Um, so yeah, hopefully see you guys again in the next video. Take care.